content children are decorators used to interact with content projected into a component using less than ng content greater than, but they serve different purposes and have key distinctions. Content child. Retrieves a single element or directive from the projected content. Requires a reference variable assigned to the projected content or a specified type of element, directive. Useful for accessing specific pieces of projected data or functionality. Returns the matching element, directive as a property in your component class. Content children. Retrieves an array of elements or directives matching a selector or type from the projected content. Can be used even without reference variables, just based on the element, directive type. Useful for iterating over or manipulating multiple elements from the projected content. Returns a query list, which is an observable collection that updates dynamically as the content changes. Key differences. Feature. Content child. Content children. Number of elements. Retrieves a single element. Retrieves an array of elements. Return type. Instance of the element. Directive. Query list. Observable collection of elements. Reference variable. Can use reference variable or type. Uses selector or type. Reference variable optional. Use cases, single element access, specific manipulation, multiple elements, iteration, dynamic changes response. Example, remember, use content child when you need access to a specific element or directive within the projected content. Use content children when you need to work with multiple elements or respond to changes in the projected content. Leverage the query list provided by content children for dynamic management of the retrieved elements. By understanding the differences and appropriate use cases of content child and content children, you can effectively interact with projected content in your Angular components, enhancing their flexibility and functionality.